I want to be a successful business owner. Of what? Everybody wants to be a successful business owner, but do you got plans? You got an idea? Quaylon and Chevelle. These camera people are interesting. Why they had to, had to do a whole, let's get her body in. Interesting. The shots have been crazy this whole season. But anyway, I mean, she looked good. Hey. What's going on? Hey. What kind of hmm, interesting question is that? What's going on? You living is what's going on. Get a moment to figure it out. Figure what out? This ain't even up for no debate. I'm going to Texas. That's what it is. Oh, so you said you were a man of your word, but you said that you was going to be here with us. I'm here right now. Right. Stupid. That is a ridiculous answer. Why? I'm here right now knowing that you're gonna leave. Why, why is this even an answer? <laughs> right now, but you're about to leave. <laughs> Coming back though, I keep telling you. You keep saying that, yeah, you say that out your mouth, but I don't know that you, you, you keep saying back. that you're gonna Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> right. So now he's in Texas with his mom and them. I don't have anything against Chevelle, but I question whether or not he really knows what he wants. I believe Quaylen is currently feeling a, a little of obligation and love. So, hmm, a little obligation and love. The obligation part will come from the fact that this Chevelle would have been sending him money, keeping him company while he was in prison, and then yeah, you will feel obligated when you've been lying to somebody for two years, or not really lying, but you're not really sure. But if you were out in the real world, you would have known by now if this is the person for you or not. But since you were in prison, it was very hard for you to get a feel what is this person really like. You only talk about roses and rainbows when you're in prison and talking over the phone. Anyway, it's not the same as being with each other in real life. So yeah, you might feel obligated to stay with her, even though after. Two 12 good years, you'd like to explore something different, and that's completely normal. I would hey, what's up? How are you? That's his sister, and her name is Quaviance. Quaviance. Que Que yeah, Quaviance. Why? Why would you do that? Hi, this is Marella Quaylon. My name is Quaviance. What? But but why? It's good to have my brother home. Yeah. She hasn't seen him in what? Did they say eight years? Something like that. I know. So what you trying to get into while you're here? Well, I don't know. This y'all city, man. What y'all be doing? I know some good bars. You started with, I know some good bars. I don't know. That just irked me. It just irked me. Like, <laughs> at least Chevelle took him to church. <laughs> Even though Chevelle is probably no saint, to be honest. None of us are, to be very honest. But the first thing you're going to do is take him to bar. Okay, whatever, whatever. Hey, nothing wrong with bars. Nothing wrong with drinking, but... I just thought it was interesting. That was the first thing she said. I know some good places, some good scenes. I got some good scenes. Now, that's good. I some really cute friends, too. I want to introduce you to them. Nah, no two-in-one shampoo and conditioner. I use some crown. Hi, that is a lot of tattoos, huh? The tattoos are like a dress, like a t-shirt. Yikes. I don't worry, you crease. Really nothing for real. Man, that feels good. So, it happens in life, you know what I'm saying? So, he got his hair done. Now, a lot of people in the comment section and elsewhere have said that there is no way that he was doing his hair by himself. Because he's talking about he used to get two-in-one shampoo, yada, yada, yada. Da, da, da. A lot of people are like, yeah, you can't fool me. You did not do your hair yourself, okay? It's impossible. It's just impossible. But, you know, I think it could be possible. But a lot of people are like, yeah, he was sitting in between some guy's legs getting his stuff done. Hey, either way, it is what it is. But now his mom has tricked him because she was like, we're going on a trip. And we're on a vacation. And then they ended up at this barber place. And yeah, she wants him to kind of work there when he's in Texas. But Elon has different ideas. But it's the barber, the, the one who owns the shop, or whoever this is. But he knows Elon's mama. Oh my, I have people without a background. That's good. He wants to give a chance to people, even people who have a background. That's great. It came from a situation, so it means it's a clean slate. I don't care what nobody else said about you. 
uh, I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't care what nobody else says about you. I think you should care because you need to know what your employer is getting themselves into, but okay. Also, I'm a bit confused because here, his hair is not done. Why are they showing the clips like, where did he get the hair done? Because when he was standing in front of Chevelle, his hair was done, you see? Mm -hmm. These are some of the things. I don't know if you guys peep that. His hair is not done here. But I thought he had done his hair before he went out to Texas. Hmm. Situation. My girl can't see, you know what I'm saying? But she won't be staggering in Houston, so she's shooting all the little you know what I'm to keep me around. And I'm feeling the love I'm receiving, but at the same time, I got. The hair thing is bugging me. I'm confused. You guys, comment down below if you know what this time. Hmm? What the chronological thingy majiggy is of this time situation? I'm I'm confused. Right, so I got a partner, so I gotta check in. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? But you know, mom, she ain't trying to none of that. It's mom. <laughs> Yo, that is some serious relation. So you can work at a barbershop and buy all these diamonds in your teeth, on your teeth. That's interesting. That's really interesting. So that means that Quaylon should see this and be like, well. He seems to be doing good for himself. He's got the, he's got the grill going and everything like that. So he got that whack. <laughs> That's always helpful to know you got a job wherever you go. Great. This is a nice gesture. I appreciate the help. I'm say easy. I want to be a. <laughs> Quaylon's voice changed all of a sudden. He's like, I want to be. What do you want to be? Successful business owner. Of what? Everybody wants to be a successful business owner, but do you got a plan? You got an idea? I want to have my own family. I want to be out here with my family. You know what I'm saying? I want my, all my people in one area. That's the answer. That is the answer. You know, so all these people in one family, I don't think people really hear the things these people say when they say them. He wants all his family in one area. Obviously, it's easier to get Chevelle and Maela in Texas than to move his entire family to Kansas City. That's the answer. He would rather be here than with Chevelle. Period. Period, love. You know what I'm saying? That's my goal. That's what... He said it. There's nothing more to discuss. He said it. Plain and simple. Clear as day. Ah! If you don't hear what somebody says, then when things don't go your way, it's your fault. He said it right here. I don't know if he said it in so many words to Chevelle, but he should get the gist that this guy does not intend to stay with her. Anyway, if you're not already part of the family, make sure you hit bump, stomp, and sound to that subscribe button. Comment because I really want to know what you think. Is he gonna leave Chevelle or not? Like because you obviously like this video and hit the notification bell while you're at it. I'll see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow. Daily videos up in here. This is a lifestyle channel, so we do everything, not only love after lockup. In the meantime, next time for glorious life, it's time to start what? Living it right. God bless. Mm -hmm.